number 18 on my list is Y2J, Chris Jericho. Jericho is a guy who made a name for himself all around the world on the independent scene, ECW, WCW, and um, he was such a great wrestler. He, he uh, would go out there and have these great matches with guys like Eddie Guerrero, Dean Malenko, Chris Benoit, and um, people, people started to take notice to this guy. And um, he, he uh, turned heel in WCW. At first, he was this uh, clean-cut baby face, but he turned heel. And you really started to see the character of Chris Jericho, that this guy could be very entertaining on the mic and uh, that he had a lot of charisma. You started to notice this in him. But WCW didn't really capitalize on him. And uh, he felt he was uh, not being used properly, and rightfully so. He went to WWE in 1999, and... Um, I remember it so well. When he came out there, the place just went unglued. They had this Millennium Y2J countdown. And uh, when he finally came out, I just jumped out of my seat. I was so excited. They had the music, the, the lights going out. It was uh, one of the greatest debuts in WWE history, in my opinion. Now, uh, it, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't all fine and dandy for Chris Jericho. He had to uh, work his way up to the top in WWE. He was... Uh, pushed back to the mid-card after his debut, and uh, over time, he, he continued to build momentum, and finally in 2001, he became the undisputed WWE Champion. And uh, Chris Jericho was just so entertaining on the mic, he would cut these promos on his adversaries, like Stephanie McMahon calling her the bottom-feeding trash bag hoe, and uh, he had all of his catchphrases, he had all the merchandise, he was, uh, like Jeff Hardy, he was a rock star. And, um, Chris Jericho reinvented himself so many times. That, that's one of the great things about Chris Jericho. He never stayed the same character. He always uh, did different things and tried different things. He came back in 2008. He turned heel. He became this serious heel. He wore the suit. He cut the serious promos, and he did it so well. And um, he totally reinvented himself. And then he came back again in 2012, and... Um, Continued to be one of the best in-ring performers and uh, just one of the most overall entertaining guys in the history of the company.